dinosaur. And it is. Joel! Surprise. Holy shit. Oh, it's a motherfucking dinosaur. What are you doing? Uh, uh, Ellie, be, be careful. I'm climbing a dinosaur. Yeah, I can see that. Just don't die falling off of one. Look at me! I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Don't jump! Just climb down. Ah! Hey, hey! This isn't an opinion about whether or not it was fair that Joel was murdered. It's not a rant about if Ellie has turned into a bad person. Or a dissection on if Abby has now been turned pure evil and a cold-blooded murderer. This is a video about what humans do to each other, and about life, and how it isn't fair. You do the best you can, and sometimes the best thing for you is the worst thing for everyone else. stop at his house before we leave. We just have to pick something up. Okay. I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Is he still in the fucking building? Is that... Abby. No! Abby, don't look... Dad! Dad! No! No! The world is in black and white. There's 7 billion people on the planet. That means there's 7 billion ways of looking at things. They say in war, there is no good and evil because history is always written by the winner. And even then, the loser feels like their reasons were valid. That brings us to The Last of Us 2. All three people in The Last of Us 2, Ellie, Joel, and Abby, had their own opinions and ways of doing things and what they thought was right and wrong. And half the internet that played The Last of Us 2 had their opinions on things of what was right and wrong. What Neil Druckmann did and Naughty Dog is human, realistic, and brilliant. Each major character suffers a tragedy in their life with the death of a loved one. Joel with his daughter, Ellie with Joel, and Abby with her father. When Joel bonds with Ellie and then decides to save her from the fireflies, he is a fulfilled man again. He finds his humanity. At the same time, he has murdered four people to do it. And one of those people was Abby's father. This has created a future where Joel is going to wind up dead. He saved her life. Selfishly, maybe. But he loves her. Four years later, Abby is a changed person, consumed by the thought of getting revenge on Joel and his brother Tommy. It is not until she's lost Owen, Manny, the WLF, and almost died at the hands of Ellie. In that moment, she realizes that this has cost her everything, and she has an epiphany that it's time to just move on. It's time to let the past go and look towards the future. She takes Lev 
and goes on a search for the fireflies. Joel found meaning in his life with Ellie and died a relatively happy man. Abby has now learned to let the past go and look towards the future. Ellie is still on her way. Consumed by the revenge, she still wants that final showdown with Abby. The final fight between the two is going to end up with Abby dead until Ellie sees Joel in her mind's eye telling her that he would do it all over again. And then in that moment, she looks into Abby's eyes and she realizes it is now time for her to also move on too. The last shot of Ellie in the game is her leaving the farm, hopefully on a mission to discover what makes her happy and what's gonna fulfill her life. The world isn't black and white. There's seven billion people on the face of the planet. In essence, there's seven billion shades of gray. There's seven billion shades of right and wrong. I think Naughty Dog knows that. And The Last of Us 2 was the perfect game to show us that. Thank you.